I cannot tell you guys how happy it makes me seeing The Sims continue to collaborate with players and creators, CC creators, all of that amazing stuff. It's already been confirmed first in the blog post that I talked about in my video from yesterday that The Sims is collaborating with Aretha Beezus. That's their official name over on Twitter. They are a Sims 4 creator and a part of the EA Creator Network. And there's a brand new necklace, a brand new ring and set of earrings created by this wonderful CC creator that are coming to The Sims 4. Well, today, just about an hour ago, the official Sims team post a eight second video clip on their Twitter showing us exactly what that earring set, ring and necklace look like in game. I mean, this is just judging from a low quality Twitter video. I'm sure it's going to look even better when you zoom all the way in, in your game in full resolution, but judging by by this low quality video clip. It looks really good. I love the color variation on the chain of the necklace itself. From this preview clip, they do appear to be gold, but I'm going to assume that we're also going to have some silver and black swatches for these pieces as well. But nonetheless, I think they look amazing. Oh, I'm really happy for this blog post because now we have a super high definition look at the new jewelry pieces. They look stunning. This Sims team asked Aretha, what is your favorite The Sims 4 pack? It is very hard to pick just one as my gameplay tends to change around different packs. Currently, it might be The Sims 4 Cottage Living or The Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack as I really enjoy playing with loads of cute animals and farming. What is the most chaotic thing you've ever made your Sims do? One day I realized my game had been too peaceful, revolving around mundane friendships. I became inspired and had to try doing the opposite. I made an evil Sim that was basically going around fighting and pranking other townies. Even then, it didn't seem like enough chaos, so I ended up sending her to the realm of magic to become a witch, master many spells, only to make whoever she didn't get along with miserable. I still play with her sometimes, and I have to say that Sims in her town are almost always in a bad mood. That honestly sounds like a very fun way to play. Describe the jewelry pieces that you've made. I've created three pieces of jewelry for this pack, a necklace, earrings, and and ring that can be used as a set or worn as separate pieces. The necklace is made of a metal snake chain and colorful beads featuring a bright gemstone. The earrings have multiple hoops as I just love stacked jewelry. I am really happy with the versatility of the ring as it matches the other accessories I made but could also be worn on its own or as a wedding ring. I love that it's a jewelry set. I really love that you can pair all of them together and they are going to match. Also, the multiple hoops was a great idea. Where did you draw inspiration from? Do you have designs, pieces, or experiences that you drew from? My inspiration was definitely the jewelry designs I love and wear in real life. I wanted them to add variety to what we already had in the game while reflecting my style. Personally, I prefer simple accessories combined together that work for all sorts of different looks. That's also why I wanted to add color with the beads and gemstones. Can you explain the design process for making these jewelry pieces. I started by looking for references that were similar to what I wanted to make for each piece of jewelry. This was probably the longest step in the whole process. Once I was certain about the styles I wanted to go for, I created 3D models of the concepts, playing around with the ideas and references I had. The last step was to pick color combinations that would be both fun and simple for everyday use. It was amazing getting feedback and encouragement from the Sims team during this process. What are you most most excited about for the Sims 4 Crystal Creations Stuff Pack. I love styling jewelry and I'm so excited to explore the new features that come along with this stuff pack that allows our Sims to create their own jewelry. Of course, seeing my work in the official gameplay after making my own custom content for a long time is another level of excitement for me. The 10 year old me that fell in love with this game wouldn't believe it. I'm sure that's just a very like overwhelming experience. After all of the work, all of the years, growing up with the game and playing and then all of a sudden you get to collaborate with the sims and have your content be in an official pack like that just sounds super overwhelming 
So for it to actually be real and see it in real time, I don't even know how I personally would process that. That's gotta be an amazing feeling. It probably feels more full circle than anything, honestly. And lastly, how do you envision players styling these jewelry pieces in their gameplay? I think while these jewelry pieces can be used for casual slash daily looks, they can also be styled into colorful, fun, and formal looks with the different swatch options. I hope that other simmers enjoy using them for different kinds of occasions. I cannot wait to see the looks they will create with them. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see what swatch varieties we have for these pieces too. Let me know what you guys think of this official jewelry set coming to the pack. Of course, the pack is going to be available on the 29th of February. That is exactly one week from today, so it's coming very soon. Are you interested in the pack? Are you going to be picking this one up? Or is it one of those that you're just going to be passing on? Let me know below. Thank you guys so much for clicking and watching. Take care and happy life simming.